Falcon fans, Falcon fans, good morning, it's your boy. It's hella early. I just left the gym. Six in the morning. Falcons lose again, 0-4. Dan Quinn is still the head coach. But I don't want to talk about that, Falcon fans. Listen up, man. I'm not even going to hate on the defense of the Atlanta Falcons. You know why? People can sit here and say the defense sucks, but this is what I'm going to tell you. Me personally, I think for – they don't play uh, four quarters of football. They play about two quarters of good football, and they overachieve. And for the first three games, they put the offense in a position to win the fucking game, okay? In a position to win the game. Um, Last night against Green Bay, hey, we gave up 20 points. In the first half, okay, then gave up 10 points in the second half. Meanwhile, our high-power offense with all these fucking first-round draft picks and all the fucking money got receivers making 20 million, quarterback making 33 million, put up nine fucking points in the first half, put up shit in the fucking second half. Guys. I was told a couple years ago that this team was built to outscore the other team. That's why we spent all the money, all the first-round picks on the offensive side of the ball. And it's not happening. So I can't even fault the defense. If you think about it, the defense has overachieved against Seattle. They overachieved in that first half. In the next game, they um against um the Cowboys, they overachieved in that fucking first half, letting us get a 20-point lead against uh, the last game, um, against the Bears. Overachieved held the Bears to 10 points through three quarters. And how does the offense repay the defense? Not scoring points, not fucking running the clock. So I put all the fucking blame, not all, I put a majority of the blame on the offensive side of the ball, Okay. Dan Quinn, you got to go. I'm sorry, you're a good guy, but ever since you've been here, coming from a defense, you're supposed to be a defensive coach, coming from the Legion of Boom, this defense has not been top top 10 since you've been here. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even think, I think defense maybe one year was top 20. Hell, the last three years, we couldn't get, we were dead last on the bottom half of sacks. So, I mean, at the end of the day, the head coaching change is needed. I think that the message that Dan Quinn is sending is falling upon deaf ears. I think he's lost the locker room as far as being able to motivate these guys to go out here and play for him. Um, here's a prime example of this team don't play hard for their fucking coach. Last night, the tight end for Green Bay. I don't even know who the fuck this Clark dude is, number 34. Who is he? I don't even know who this dude is. But he tackled the fucking tight end to get a pass in the fans call. What does the tight end do? He gets up and catches the fucking touchdown. What does Clark do? Tackle. He fell down, so he tackled him. Okay, I can understand that. But he just laid there. He didn't even get up till he saw the tight end get up. That's how you know these dudes don't want to fucking play. They don't want to win. They're not playing for the fucking coach. They're not playing for the fans. They are not playing for the badge. They're not playing for the team. Okay? Point blank, period. That was a poor piss display of being a football player. You fall down, instead of getting up to make shit happen, you just lay there and you don't get up. You reacting because you see the tight end get up. Then he get up and score the damn touchdown. And I understand this dude Clark, whatever his name is, 34, I think that's him. He only in the game because of injuries. But God damn, man, you will figure this is what these guys' opportunity to make a name for themselves. If not for the Falcons, showing other teams what they can do. But this is the prime example, bro. We have no depth on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, I know these injuries is catastrophic as far as just the number of injuries in the damn position. It's like every fucking – you put on a Falcon jersey and play 
uh, defensive back, you going to get hurt. You know, Rico out again. Same shit from last year. He was out. Um, all the cornerbacks out. One got goddamn COVID. I mean, but it's still no excuse. Because at worst, this team should be 2-2. Two and two. At worst, with losses to Green Bay and Seattle, which those are losses that I could respect. You know, but to give the team credit, at least we just lost this fucking game against the Packers. At least we didn't take the lead and um and blow it. We just straight up lost this fucking game. From the, from the opening kickoff, we lost the fucking game. Opening kickoff, we go three and out. First two possessions. Like, come on, man. Julio Jones. I love Julio, but God, bro, he always hurt. He is, this dude missed more games <sighs> to be taking up so much cap space, man. One thing I can't say about Matt Ryan, this dude play every fucking game. I'll tell you that much. That motherfucker be out there. Julio Jones, not so much. Make too much money not to be out there every day, all the time. Okay? Um, but once again, I wake up, I do cardio this morning, and guess what? Dan Quinn's still the head coach. That shows me that Arthur Black ain't trying to do shit this year, man. He not trying to do shit this year. So, let's not fuck up. We already owing four. Let's not fuck up our draft position by coming out here and winning fucking games that don't fucking matter. Okay? But back on my topic, the defense, hey, those do they trying. All I can ask for this defense is to put us in position to win games. They put us in position to win. Offense has not come through. They put us in position to win Three out of four games. And you could almost say the second half, what we gave up, 10 points in the second half? Offense did what for us? Nothing. Zero zilch. So that's all I got, Falcon fans. But, hey, you might, hey, Falcon fans, might as well start looking toward the draft. Start looking toward the draft. You know we need to draft a quarterback, a youngster to start grooming and replace Matt Ryan. Okay, we need to get a, a power fucking back because Gurley has no explosion. Okay, and then we just need we need to address the whole fucking defense. You know, feel sorry for Grady Jared out there giving it his all, and we don't got shit to show for it. Zero wins. But that's all I got, fucking fans. I'll holler at y'all later, man. It's your boy, I'm out. Peace.